It is a long time since I used cow's milk, partly because I like the flavour of Oatly Barista with my coffee, and partly to avoid the 10 mile round trip to the shop for milk every three or four days. Whilst I only use the oat milk with my muesli and coffee, it still seems to be costing me about £20 a month, so trying to make it myself for significantly less seemed worth a try. I naively entered the plant milk maker marketplace, only to find that the prices of some of the highly recommended machines was in the hundreds of pounds. Right at the bottom of the price range was the Salter at around £60, so on the basis that this was an experiment that might not work, it was as much as I was willing to invest. The Salter appears to be well made, however it is not particularly robust and will probably require a more careful life than some of my other kitchen appliances. I am also not sure how long the locking connectors for the filter basket will last as it is effectively stainless steel clicking into soft plastic and over time I imagine the plastic getting worn down. In the box as well as the modified blender which is the milk maker with its filter basket you also get a collector container, basic instructions and a recipe booklet which contains the glowing omission of no recipe for oat milk most odd. According to the wonderful World Wide Web, for every four cups of water, absolutely brilliantly delicious oat milk uses one cup of oats, or two, or three, or whatever you can imagine in between, depending on which of the many experts out there you listen to. I decided to start with two cups of oats and see what happened. Assuming four cups of water is about a litre and the Salter minimum and maximum levels are 1300 and 1600 mils respectively, I decided to base all my experiments on 1300 mils of water to accommodate the displacement of the filter basket containing two cups of oats. What was consistent across all the advice was A. Used rolled oats B. Do not soak the oats C use cold water, and D, only blend for a very short time. The Salter plant milk maker cycle blends the oat contents of the filter basket with the water for a programmed 3 times 15 second periods over 1 minute total and uses only 3 watts of power. There is a separate blender function. The provided plastic container allows oats to be added to the basket with less spillage than otherwise and the removal of the filter basket from the lid after blending. In my first test it was a simple case of 1300 mils of water and two cups of oats for a single cycle. The result was not delicious. Instead, the resultant concoction was really just a dilute, slightly gritty, slightly oat flavoured water which was acceptable with muesli but spoiled rather than enhanced my coffee, especially after steaming. This is kind of what I expected. In the second test I decided to use the same water to oat ratio but run the cycle three times with a rest period of 15 minutes in between. There was definitely an improvement in the thickness and consistency using this approach but unfortunately the result was still not delicious and the resulting oat milk was again a fail with the coffee steamer. However, after a night in the fridge the oat milk turned gelatinous and slimy but why wouldn't it? As a kid we made starch glue from flour so why not oats and the consistency was about the same. None of this was a surprise as it seems to me that all this basic process involves is a mechanical breaking of oat grains into micro particles of oats temporarily suspended in water. So basically a tenuous soup of oat based starch and of course the body finds starch difficult to digest anyway. What was particularly obvious was firstly just how much sweeter the bought oat milks are and how additives must be used to maintain a relatively homogeneous suspension. In these initial tests I just wanted to see what a simple oats plus water combination would give. It did not give anywhere near what I wanted in terms of taste and utility. All is not lost though I hope, 
In my next video, I'll experiment with cashews and amylase enzyme to see if I can achieve a barista quality frothable oat milk, which better emulates the industrial oat milks I have been enjoying. My assumption is that once I can break down the starch into basic sugars and add some oils from the nuts, the resultant oat milk should be significantly more palatable and usable. Hopefully without too much faff and fuss, but we shall see. I decided on using the grinds to feed the birds. Double plus win. It's all good.